guys, welcome to the Digital Economy Hub. I'm Eric Fleming, Senior Manager at William Berg Gold Coast. And today we're going to talk about the big data analytics in the context of our e-commerce series. Data analytics is often a, a misconception as to whether it is the idea of analyzing data, is it the, weather, the, the idea of collecting the data. It's actually all of it. E-commerce businesses act in a data-driven world. It's online and part of the e-commerce activities is to actually collect the data. What we're going to be talking about today and in our series of podcasts more in detail is the idea of using that data. Um, a lot of businesses go on there in the idea of making sales, using the internet to get in touch with their customers and do their advertising. But forget the backend side of things. Backend is really do something with the data you collect, otherwise you will not survive in the world. So at William Buck, we've identified really four pillars that businesses need to understand when analyzing and using the big data analytics. The first pillar really is about enhancing customer satisfaction. In this world where everything's digitalized, customers want quick actions. And as a matter of fact, a recent survey highlighted that 75% of people that do and make a request or um, ask a question online to your business expect an answer within the hour. And, and another part of that survey highlighted the fact that if you do come back positively to a customer that previously may have made a complaint within the hour, 25% um, of them will be your next advocate for a lifetime. So it's really important to understand where analyzing after collecting the data can improve this by really providing the customer a bit of a platform enjoyment. And really enjoyment is what will make the customers deal with you and not any other business. The second pillar really lies with the fact that after collecting that data, your business needs to be able to analyze it, to come up with patterns. What are the customer's preferences? What do they buy? What do they want to buy, but your product line doesn't offer? When do they buy it? All of that will become essential in understanding your business and evolving your operations with a specific type of product offering. And this will be the distinction between those business that will be here in 10 years time and those that won't. Third, businesses must be able to use that data to improve their operations. So that's really about understanding more than the patterns and, and what kicks the customers. It's, it's also about understanding what are the relevant pricing strategies. And all of that nowadays has become real time and businesses need to adapt in real time. We can see so many people operating online and within the same day prices would have changed because the competitor would have changed their price. If you do not do that or if you do not develop a framework to give you the ability to do that, again, your business will not survive. The last pillar really is about micro moments. So micro moments is the latest talk in the e-commerce and digital world because it's about using that willingness that customer want things right now. They want to buy now, they want to know now, they want an answer now. Um, and that's by using that, that sort of intrinsic behaviors from our customers that businesses will be able to adapt the way they do business with them. Um, we can see nowadays businesses going into supermarkets and being able to get uh, their customers looking up products on their smartphones uh, as they are doing their shopping in a physical environment. And by doing that, businesses are able to drive the customer's behavior. And by doing so, they're significantly scaling up their activities. Cool. Thank you guys for spending a bit of time with us today. There will be plenty of that content coming up. So please feel free to call us at William Berg Gold Coast if you think we can help us with your e-commerce strategy or book an int a free introductory meeting by using the form below.